In mathematics, K-theory is, roughly speaking, the study of a ring generated by vector bundles over a topological space or scheme. In algebraic topology, it is a cohomology theory known as topological K-theory. In algebra and algebraic geometry, it is referred to as algebraic K-theory. It is also a fundamental tool in the field of operator algebras. It can be seen as the study of certain kinds of invariants of large matrices. K theory involves the construction of families of K functors that map from topological spaces or schemes to associated rings. These rings reflect some aspects of the structure of the original spaces or schemes. As with functors to groups in algebraic topology, the reason for this functorial mapping is that it is easier to compute some topological properties from the mapped rings than from the original spaces or schemes. Examples of results gleaned from the K-theory approach include the grothendieck riemann rock theorem, Bott periodicity, the Attia-Singer index theorem, and the Adams operations. In high-energy physics, K-theory and in particular twisted K-theory have appeared in type II string theory where it has been conjectured that they classify D-brains, Ramond-Ramond field strengths and also certain spinors on generalized complex manifolds. In condensed matter physics K-theory has been used to classify topological insulators, superconductors and stable Fermi surfaces. For more details, see K theory physics. Topic: <laughs> Grothendieck completion. The Grothendieck completion is a necessary ingredient for constructing K theory. Given an abelian monoid, a plus display style a plus let display style sim be the relation on a 2 display style a caret 2 defined by a 1 a 2 b 1 b 2 Display style a underscore one a underscore two sim b underscore one b underscore two. If there exists a c element of a display style c in a such that a one plus b two plus C equals a two plus B one plus C Display style or underscore one plus B underscore two plus C equals or underscore two plus B underscore one plus C then the set G A equals a two display style G A equals a carrot two sim has the structure of a group G A plus display style G A plus where one a two plus B one B two equals a one plus B one a two plus B 
display style a underscore one a underscore two plus b underscore one b underscore two equals a underscore one plus b underscore one a underscore two plus b underscore two Equivalence classes in this group should be thought of as formal differences of elements in the abelian group. To get a better understanding of this group, consider some equivalence classes of the abelian monoid. A plus display style a plus. Here we will denote the identity element by zero display style zero. First, zero, zero, n, n, display style zero, zero, sim, n, n, for any n element of display style n in A, since we can set c equals Zero. Display style c equals zero, and apply the equation from the equivalence relation to get n equals n. Display style n equals n. This implies a b plus b a equals a plus b a plus b equals 0 display style a b plus b a equals a plus b a plus b equals 0 hence we have an additive inverse for each element in G A display style G A. This should give us the hint that we should be thinking of the equivalence classes A B display style A B as formal differences A minus B display style A B. Another useful observation is the invariance of equivalence classes under scaling. A B A plus K B plus K display style A B sim A plus K B plus K for any K element of a display style k in a the grothendieck completion can be viewed as a functor g a b m o n a b g r p Display style G Math BF Abmon to Math BF ABGRP and it has the property that it is left adjoint to the corresponding forgetful functor U A B G R P A B M O N display style u math bf a b g r p to math bf abmon. That means that given a morphism phi a u b display style phi a to u b of an abelian monoid display style a to the underlying abelian monoid of an abelian group b display style b there exists a unique abelian group morphism g a 
B display style G A to B an illustrative example to look at is the Grothendieck completion of n display style math b n we can see that g n plus equals z plus display style g math b n plus equals math b z plus for any pair a b display style a b we can find a minimal representative a b display style a b by using the invariance under scaling for example we can see from the scaling invariance that 4 6 3 5 2 4 1 3 0 2 display style 4 6 sim 3 5 sim 2 4 sim 1 3 sim 0 2 in general if we set k equals min a b display style k equals min a b then we find that a b a minus k b minus k display style a b sim a k b k which is of the form c 0 display style c 0 or 0 d display style 0 d this shows that we should think of the 0 display style a 0 as positive integers and that 0 b display style 0 b as negative integers topic definitions There are a number of basic definitions of K-theory, two coming from topology and two from algebraic geometry. Given a compact Hausdorff space X X Consider the set of isomorphism classes of finite-dimensional vector bundles over X X Denoted Vect x display style text vect x and let the isomorphism class of a vector bundle pi e x display style pi e to x be denoted e display style e since isomorphism classes of vector bundles behave well with respect to direct sums, we can write these operations on isomorphism classes by E E equals E E displaystyle E O plus E equals E O plus E. It should be clear that vect x display style text vect x o plus is an abelian monoid where the unit is given by the trivial vector bundle r 0 times x x display style math b r caret 0 times x to x 
We can then apply the Grothendieck completion to get an abelian group from this abelian monoid. This is called the K-theory of X and is denoted K 0 X K 0 X we can use the Serra-Swan theorem and some algebra to get an alternative description of vector bundles over the ring of continuous complex-valued functions. C zero x c display style c caret zero x math b c as projective modules. Then, these can be identified with idempotent matrices in some ring of matrices M N times N C zero X C Display style M underscore N times N C carrot zero X Math B C we can define equivalence classes of idempotent matrices and form an abelian monoid idem x display style text bf idem x its grothendieck completion is also called k 0 x display style k caret 0 x in algebraic geometry, the same construction can be applied to algebraic vector bundles over a smooth scheme. But, there is an alternative construction for any Noetherian scheme x If we look at the isomorphism classes of coherent sheaves COH x Display style operator name C O H X. We can mod out by the relation E equals E plus E. Display style mathcal E equals mathcal E plus mathcal E. If there is a short exact sequence zero E. E E zero display style zero to mathcal E to mathcal E to mathcal E to zero. This gives the Grothendieck group K zero x display style K underscore zero x, which is isomorphic to K. 0 x display style k caret 0 x if x display style x is smooth the group k 0 x display style k underscore 0 x is special because there is also a ring structure we define it as e e equals minus 1 k tor k o x e e Display style mathcal e c d o t mathcal e equals sum minus one carrot k operator name tor underscore k carrot mathcal o underscore x mathcal e mathcal e. Using the grothendieck riemann rock theorem, we have that c h k zero x q a x q display style operator name c h colon k underscore zero x o times math b q to a x o times math b q. 
is an isomorphism of rings. Hence we can use k 0 x display style k underscore 0 x through intersection theory topic early history The subject can be said to begin with Alexander Grothendieck 1957, who used it to formulate his grothendieck riemann rock theorem. It takes its name from the German klasse, meaning, class. Grothendieck needed to work with coherent sheaves on an algebraic variety X rather than working directly with the sheaves. He defined a group using isomorphism classes of sheaves as generators of the group, subject to a relation that identifies any extension of two sheaves with their sum. The resulting group is called K X when only locally free sheaves are used, or G X when all are coherent sheaves. Either of these two constructions is referred to as the Grothendieck group. K X has cohomological behavior and G X has homological behavior. If X is a smooth variety, the two groups are the same. If it is a smooth affine variety, then all extensions of locally free sheaves split, so the group has an alternative definition. In topology, by applying the same construction to vector bundles, Michael Attia and Friedrich Herzebruck defined K X for a topological space X in 1959, and using the Bott periodicity theorem they made it the basis of an extraordinary cohomology theory. It played a major role in the second proof of the index theorem circa 1962. Furthermore, this approach led to a non-commutative K-theory for C** algebras. Already in 1955, Jean-Pierre Serra had used the analogy of vector bundles with projective modules to formulate Serra's conjecture, which states that every finitely generated projective module over a polynomial ring is free. This assertion is correct, but was not settled until 20 years later. Swan's theorem is another aspect of this analogy. Topic Developments The other historical origin of algebraic K theory was the work of J. H. C. Whitehead and others on what later became known as Whitehead torsion. There followed a period in which there were various partial definitions of higher K theory functors. Finally, two useful and equivalent definitions were given by Daniel Quillen using homotopy theory in 1969 and 1972. A variant was also given by Friedhelm Waldhausen in order to study the algebraic K theory of spaces, which is related to the study of pseudo isotopies. Much modern research on higher K theory is related to algebraic geometry and the study of Motovic cohomology. The corresponding constructions involving an auxiliary quadratic form received the general name L theory. It is a major tool of surgery theory. In string theory, the K theory classification of Ramond Ramond field strengths and the charges of stable D brains was first proposed in 1997. Examples The easiest example of the Grothendieck group is the Grothendieck group of a point spec. F display style text spec math b f for a field F display style math b f. Since a vector bundle over this space is just a finite dimensional vector space, which is a free object in the category of coherent sheaves, hence projective, the monoid of isomorphism classes is n. Display style math b n corresponding to the dimension of the vector space. It is an easy exercise to show that the Grothendieck group is then 
Z Display style Math B Z One important property of the Grothendieck group of a Noetherian scheme X Display style X is that K X equals K X red display style K X equals K X underscore text red hence the Grothendieck group of any Artinian F display style math B F algebra is Z display style math B Z Another important formula for the Grothendieck group is the projective bundle formula given a rank R vector bundle E display style mathcal E over a Noetherian scheme X display style X the Grothendieck group of the projective bundle P E equals project sim e display style math b p math cal e equals operator name project operator name sim caret bullet math cal e caret v is a free k x display style k x module of rank r with basis 1 she she n minus 1 display style 1 she dots she caret n1 this formula allows one to compute the grothendieck group of p f n display style math b p underscore math b f caret n Topic Applications Topic Virtual Bundles One useful application of the Grothendieck group is to define virtual vector bundles. For example, if we have an embedding of smooth spaces Y left arrow curving right x display style y hook right arrow x then there is a short exact sequence 0 omega y omega x y c y x 0 Display style zero two omega underscore y two omega underscore x underscore y to c underscore y x to zero, where c y x display style c underscore y x is the conormal bundle of y display style y x display style x if we have a singular space y display style y embedded into a smooth space x display style x we define the virtual conormal bundle as omega x y minus Omega Y Display st Le Omega underscore x underscore y omega underscore y. Another useful application of virtual bundles is with the definition of a virtual tangent bundle of an intersection of spaces, let Y one Y two X 
Display style y underscore one y underscore two subset x b projective subvarieties of a smooth projective variety. Then we can define the virtual tangent bundle of their intersection z equals y one y two Display style z equals y underscore one cap y underscore two as t z v i r equals t y one z plus t y Two Z minus T X Z Display style T underscore Z carrot ver equals T underscore Y underscore one underscore Z plus T underscore Y underscore two underscore Z T underscore X underscore Z Konsevich uses this construction in one of his papers. Topic: <laughs> Chern characters. Chern classes can be used to construct a homomorphism of rings from the topological K-theory of a space to the completion of its rational cohomology. For a line bundle L, the churn character CH is defined by CH L equals EXP C one L equals M equals zero infinity C one L M M Display style operator name CH L equals EXP C underscore one L equals sum underscore M equals zero carrot inf T frac C underscore one L carrot M M More generally, if V equals L one L N display style V equals L underscore one O plus dots O plus L underscore N is a direct sum of line bundles with first churn classes X I equals C one L I display style x underscore I equals C underscore 1 L underscore I the churn character is defined additively CH V equals e X 1 plus plus e X N equals M equals zero infinity one M X one M plus plus X N M Display style operator name CH V equals E carrot X underscore one plus dots plus E carrot X underscore N equals sum underscore M equals zero carrot inf T frac one M X underscore one carrot M plus dots plus X underscore N carrot M the churn character is useful in part because it facilitates the computation of the churn class of a tensor product. The churn character is used in the Herzebrück Riemann Rock theorem. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Equivariant K theory. The equivariant algebraic K theory is an algebraic K theory associated to the category COH G X display style operator name COH caret G X of equivariant coherent sheaves on an algebraic scheme X display style X with action of a linear algebraic group G display style G via Quillen's Q construction thus by definition K I G X equals pi I B plus C O H G X displaystyle K underscore I carrot G X equals Pi underscore I B carrot plus operator name C O H carrot G X in particular K zero G C Display style k underscore zero carrot g c is the Grothendieck group of C O H G X display style operator name C O H carrot g x. The theory was developed by R W Thomason in 1980s. Specifically, he proved equivariant analogues of fundamental theorems such as the localization theorem. Topic. See also. Bot periodicity. KK theory. KR theory. List of cohomology theories. Algebraic K-theory Topological K-theory Operator K-theory Grothendieck-Riemann-Roch theorem Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>